Angela. Uh, welcome everybody to the Pacific and Coronet Nivea Pavilion. Um, welcome especially to Minister Siriratu, our uh, climate champion, to uh, Ameria and to Victoria, two fantastic young people you're going to hear from tonight who've played a very important role in what you're about to see. But it's fantastic to be here at the pavilion because we're looking at a film tonight which speaks very much to the heart of the Pacific of concerns to my foreign ministry, to New Zealand at large, but especially to our Pacific partners and friends. Climate change is a reality. I always say and argue in most of the, the meetings and the forums that I attend that we are amongst the most vulnerable and we are amongst the most affected. Our, uh, there is no arguing that the weather events are getting more extreme. I have seen uh, particularly uh, the severe rainfall episodes. I've been Minister for Disaster Management and uh, Meteorological Services in Fiji uh, for the past uh, four or five years. The changing rain rainfall patterns in Fiji is really uh, uh, taking us by surprise. Uh, we would have intense rainfall within a very short period of time. Three months rainfall within four to five hours. Uh, that's what we call the new norm. Uh, we, uh, our droughts are getting longer uh, and I can go on with the list, uh, the rising sea levels uh, which of course uh, uh, results in erosion as well along the coastal areas and we are being hit by consecutive cyclones. Uh, if I recall correctly in the region uh, from 2010 in Fiji we had category uh, 4 cyclone, Cyclone Thomas. And then two years later in uh, 2014, we had uh, another category for cyclone, Cyclone Evans. And then Cyclone Pem, Pem came in 2015, uh, hit Vanuatu very badly and other uh, Pacific Island countries. And of course, we all know about Winston. And uh, Winston is um, uh, the documentary that we will see later this afternoon. Uh, personally, uh, I can testify to this climate change. I come from a small coastal village uh, in Fiji. I remember born and bred in the village and I remember my village very well from the very young days. Uh, we had uh, a lot of trees, uh, native trees along the coastline and that is sort of the, the rest and recreation area in my village. That's where the, uh, our fathers and grandfathers would congregate after a day's work. But all those trees are gone over the years. And in my village alone, when we talk about resilience and adaptation, this is one of the Fiji government's projects lately. Uh, they have just constructed a seawall, which costs about uh, $300,000 US to save the village. But that's not the first seawall in my village. That's the third seawall. Over, uh, over 10 to 20 years. That's the third seawall, so uh, I, I know uh, for a fact that uh, we've lost some of the delicacies uh, that we have within the areas. Uh, it affects our food security and so many other things, but I am not here to uh, steal the show, but just to testify that again, climate change is real and it's affecting us badly and we are amongst the most vulnerable and we are amongst the most affected. Uh, it's uh, important that our stories are captured uh, and shared uh, with the world and uh, words are sometimes not enough. People need to actually see and experience these harsh realities uh, for themselves. Uh, and documentaries uh, such as the one you are about to see uh, helps us uh, bring us closer to the realities that we are facing in the Pacific and hopefully also capturing the resilient spirit of us Pacific Islanders. I am now delighted to call on uh, Victoria and uh, Miriam to share with us their journey when developing this uh, documentary. Thank you. They have no control over what is happening in terms of climate change affecting their homelands.
we're talking about some of the smallest island nations on Earth, located in the largest ocean on Earth. They're often caught by surprise in terms of the impacts of those climate events. It picked up all of a sudden. We weren't, we weren't ready for it. Coral reefs are changing, they are dying. The systems on which we depend for healthy fish stocks. We have the fish in each month. We have to catch the fish here during this month. Nowadays, we cannot find it. It is lost. I absolutely do believe that New Zealand can lead towards a more sustainable future, as can other small countries. The Pacific, when we get together, has a, has a huge voice, as was demonstrated in the Paris Agreement when the Pacific Islands got the 1.5 degree temperature goal in. Paris Agreement is so vital because that hopefully holds all of us collectively responsible. We feel a great level of privilege being able to share with the Pacific story with you here today uh, and we're happy to share it through a youthful and cultural lens. We would like to acknowledge everyone's uh, achievements and efforts made here at this event um, and we would really like to contribute in our own way as filmmakers and we do that so by um, the power of storytelling. New Zealand and the Pacific share similarities in the ways in which they culturally view and value the natural resources and lands. Our, our goal was to showcase the efforts New Zealand and the Pacific both take against climate change and to bring to light the level of whanaungatanga and the closeness that we share in the South Pacific. I believe that through a um, combination of our passion and determination we have created a film that both gives a insight into the New Zealand response to the global objectives set by the Paris Agreement, but it also shared true intimate stories from Baitiki Island in Fiji, um, which in this case are examples of what the rest of the Pacific Islands are facing on the daily basis. We had an amazing opportunity to go to Baitiki Island and gather the stories ourselves, and we saw the effects of climate change firsthand. Um, we've built a trusting relationship with the Islanders and um, I was able to go back and share the film with them um, last month. Um, creating Subject to Change was an incredibly um, powerful storytelling story experience during which we worked with many inspirational people. I want to also take this um, opportunity to say that for me it was a really emotional experience in which I witnessed how all of us in our student team grew to understand how devastating climate change actually is. Um, concluding, subject to change is built upon the relationship between us human beings and our planet. Um, ecologist Aldo Leopold believes that humanity should seek both nature and society as an organism in which each contributes a part. And I believe that this film pursued this statement. So enjoy, reflect, and um, we will be available after the screening to answer some questions. So thank you, Vinaka Vakalevo.